Cooking is one of the most fascinating activity of our life. It represents our tradition. But on the other side, it leaves us the possibility to express our imagination and creativity, looking for new, unexpected flavors. Every day, we have different needs, for instance, different tastes, and we reflect them in what we prepare. Mixing different ingredients, following different recipes, using different cooking procedures, it's ordinary for us. But what if I tell you that in the future, we will be able to cook more than food? Materials. We will adapt material properties to everyday necessities, just following simple recipes or expressing our creativity. We will be able to create every object at home exactly as we control the flavor of our dishes. I'm not crazy. We are on the edge of a revolution in the production process. And I would like to show you that homemade development of materials, or in other words, cooking, will be a fundamental part of it. In the recent years, a new idea of goods production is growing. We read about it every day on magazines. We hear about it every day on the news. We see it every day on the screens. 3D printing. With this name, we mean all the technologies that allow the production of complex three-dimensional structures, starting from a digital model. You need just a PC or a smartphone and a printer. Today, we used to be amazed by the fast creation of beautiful objects by 3D printing. But actually, their, their main application is hobby, or in the best case, rapid prototyping. However, as we have just seen, these technologies are about to revolutionize our society and our world. From cells to processes, from food to buildings, it is possible to imagine a close future in which everyone will be able to create every object at home. This could be the greatest change in our economy since the Industrial Revolution of 18th century. In fact, 3D printing could make the manufacturing of a single item as cheap as the production of thousands, with the further advantage to save both raw materials and energy. This undermines the economy of scale, and it could impact our society exactly as the birth of factory did. However, we feel that this technology still miss something. What could shift 3D printing application from the production of nice objects to everyday life use? Now, we are in a transition phase. Step by step, we are realizing this revolution. In the recent years, this technology had a fast growth, leading to new faster and cost-effective printers that results accessible to a large market. So we get the tech. But we still miss the other face of the moon that really could expand the use of 3D printing in every field of our life. We need a large range of materials that could be printable in order to start this revolution. Actually, developable materials are limited to some particular field, such as jewelry, or rapid prototyping, or hobby. It means applications for which we do not need any particular property from the materials, except good pre precision or a nice look. On the other side, there is an increasing market for really expensive technological fields, such as biomedical, mechanical, or aerospace. Between these two limits, there is a large gap for all the objects that we use in everyday life, but today are still not covered by 3D printing. In order to be brought in every home, those materials should be easily available, easily printable, safe, and finally, they should cover all your possible needs. This is the future. Production on demand. Easy personalization of the object. Think about, you have guests at dinner, and while you're cooking, your pen handle gets broken. No panic. With your 3D printer, you can fastly make another one and keep on preparing your dishes. But that's when you need 3D printable materials. They should not melt while you cook. They should be recognizable, and you should have the possibility to find them easily in the market 
exactly as you find the ingredients for dinner. You know, in order to produce objects for specific purposes, we need to develop materials for those specific purposes. A general effort in this direction is necessary both from scientific and industrial side because we need to bring on the market the widest range of printable materials with peculiar properties. On the other hand, a sort of awareness is also needed. Today, most of the people buy the objects believing that they could satisfy their needs. Considering on production, we have to switch our way of thinking. Each of us should put more attention in what are an object characteristics and choose a suitable material consequently. You know, material's key role is often forgotten. They are everywhere around us. They look like the background beyond every object design, but actually they are the core of their function. What we call objects or tools are just material shaped in the right way. And what better technique for shaping than 3D printing? I believe that in the future, homemade production of objects will be exactly as cooking. We will have all the ingredients in a cabinet and we will choose what to do, just mixing them. Actually, the most flexible approach for the development of a 3D printable material consists in mixing liquid precursor of a plastic, we can say our raw ingredients, with molecules able to react with the light, like we use the oil when we cook. And then, in the printer, expose this mixture to a light source, like turning the gas on, in order to induce solidification through a mechanism called photopolymerization. And voila, it's cooked. Changing the type of constituting units, we can obtain different materials for different purposes. Thus different dishes. But this is already possible. If you have one of those printers, known as the LP, you can buy many formulation in order to have a hard, a soft, or a rubbery material. But let's do a step ahead. We can add fillers, like we add the spices on our dishes, to further modify the features of our materials, achieving new flavors, like mechanical properties, or new functionalities, such as biocompatibility, uh, electrical conductivity, or optical responsiveness. We can prepare ready-to-use formulation, but also give the possibility to mix the different components, leaving to each of us the freedom to cook their, their own objects. We are at the beginning of a social and industrial revolution that will radically change the role of raw materials. They won't be in the background anymore, but in the foreground. Thus, we need to develop new strategies for obtaining multifunctional materials, specifically studied to satisfy every possible need. And we need to bring those recipes in every home. Because a world in which all of us will be able to cook every object at home, maybe it's not so far. We have just to find the right ingredients to put in our 3D printer. Thank you. <laughs>